And we are following breaking news out of the NFL. Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson has waived his no-trade clause for the Cleveland Browns. First confirmed by our NFL insider Jonathan Jones, but then Deshaun Watson making it official himself, posting on social media. Watson reportedly signing a new five-year deal, $230 million with the Browns. And get this, all of that fully guaranteed. Deshaun Watson spending the first five years of his career in Houston. Didn't play at all last season. His legal situation was up in the air. But again, Deshaun Watson agreeing to a trade to the Browns. Let's bring in our quarterback, Brady Quinn, to talk about this. Brady, it's the contract situation here that's standing out to you the most. Yeah, it's a huge commitment by the Cleveland Browns. This is a historic contract. It's the most guaranteed money we've ever seen at the NFL. So as a former player, look, it's a step in the right direction for all those times you hear about players in the NFL or people talking about guaranteed contracts. Well, this is one way of going about doing it, but it's a huge commitment by the Cleveland Browns, who I think needed to make this sort of commitment in order to, to get Deshaun Watson's services. It wasn't just about um, the draft capital and compensation. I think in order for Deshaun to feel comfortable with the Browns bringing him in, they had to give him this sort of deal. But let's not forget, it's fully guaranteed until he has to, happens to have maybe another issue off of the field, which would void those guarantees. So uh, it, it's kind of like a, a little bit of an olive branch or, or a trust between the Browns and Watson that whatever's happening off the field is not going to resurface again at any point in time. Now, we don't know if the NFL is going to step in and suspend him for any length of time. We don't know how that's going to be handled. But the reality is this is a monster contract, a step in the right direction. Kudos to Deshaun Watson and, and his representation at Athletes First for being able to get this done. Uh, and, and, and obviously the Browns for making that last home run swing at this. Because if they didn't get Watson, which is what we thought 24 hours ago, uh, you know, you had already made it a point where Baker Mayfield didn't want to be there anymore. So really, what was your option at quarterback? Case Keenum? Are you looking back in the draft? Uh, so kudos to, to really all parties involved to get this deal done. So fully guaranteed, you say it's a step in the right direction. So do we start to see more contracts like this? And people are going to say, hey, look, he got $230 million guaranteed. I want something similar. Yeah, I think it's, it takes a, really a risk for the player and agent knowing that the deals aren't going to be as big as they they typically like to overinflate these deals like we see in free agency right now. You know, you can look at a lot of the guys that have recently signed. Just look at the amount of years and total value of the contract. Those players will never see that. Now, unless you force them to give you a full guarantee, well, then the organization or the team, uh, you know, you've, you've kind of got that leverage on them throughout the duration of the deal. So much like Kirk Cousins, when he hit free agency and signed a three year, fully guaranteed $90 million deal, that's where this has to go. And it has to be the quarterbacks that really push that initiative. If players truly want fully guaranteed deals, um, they're going to have to, you know, again, get used to doing a smaller dur duration of the deal. But also the money's not going to look as big and agents hate doing that because then they can't flex and they can't, you know, parade it around to everyone of what type of deal they did. Let's talk about on the field. Uh, their Super Bowl odds went from 40 to 1 to 20 to 1. They are now at more than 50% chance to make it to the playoffs. Uh, that is up from about 30% with Deshaun Watson. It's not an easy division by any means. Uh, talk to us about what Deshaun Watson means for the Browns when it comes to the field. Well, he obviously is a dynamic player. We saw that from his early time with the Houston Texans. The reality is we don't know what he's going to be within a Kevin Stefanski system. I mean, Deshaun Watson was probably best suited being in an offense that really they're chucking the ball all around, working in some RPOs and really the downfield passing game. With Kevin Stefanski, you've got two running backs in Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt who are really good at running the football. And so are they going to curtail some of that? Are they going to incorporate Deshaun Watson as part of that rushing attack? Because uh, he is a very capable runner. Uh, and they just traded for Amari Cooper. So they've got a number one wide receiver. Donovan Peoples-Jones has come along. Jakeem Grant's a great returner. He's a shifty player as well as Anthony Schwartz. And not to mention their tight ends and David Njoku and Harrison Bryant. So this offense can be extremely explosive. Uh, it has the potential to be the best within that division. Uh, obviously competing against Cincinnati, competing against Baltimore. We don't know what Pittsburgh's going to be. But the reality is um, this was a huge move. Uh, but we don't know with the time off if there's going to be some rust there how long it'll take him to develop chemistry and really learn this system under Kevin Stefanski. Uh, and so there, there might be some rust to knock off, maybe a slow start to the 2022 season. We'll have to wait and see. When it comes to Baker Mayfield yesterday requesting a trade from the Browns, the Browns said no. It appears he's going to get his wish. What's next for Baker? If I was Baker right now, uh, and the Browns most likely won't do this, but I would do everything I could to get to the Indianapolis Colts. 
that to me is just a great scenario when you look at that team's construct, the makeup, how he'd fit within Frank Reich's system. Uh, but again, I, I didn't think Deshaun Watson was going to get traded within the AFC Conference. And lo and behold, he ends up finding his way to Cleveland. So never say never in the NFL. We've learned that. But that would be the system and I think the position for Mayfield that would make a lot of sense if he wants to go to an organization uh, that I think can compete and, and in a much more winnable division than what he came from in the AFC North going to a team like the Colts in the AFC South. The teams up until today, it had been narrowed down to the Saints, to the Falcons, the Panthers were there at one point. When you put the Browns into that, out of all of those teams, where would you have preferred the most to see Deshaun Watson go? Well, I, I think the Browns, and to be quite honest, one, because of his talent and his ability. I think you look at the rest of that division, and if, if Mayfield was so hurt at, at you know everything that's transpired, and the Browns even inquiring about Watson, and he wanted to move on, then really what were they going to do? Uh, so now you have the opportunity to see what he's capable of within this division that's really competitive. And then on a, what can be, I think, an explosive offense playing behind one of the better offensive lines. Let's not forget, too, he's played behind some bad offensive lines during his time with the Houston Texans. Now he literally goes to a team that not only has one of the best, but one of the best offenses and a defense that's been improving as a ton of talent as well. So uh, I, I think, to me, the Browns were the team that, at least from a competitive standpoint, he steps in right away and helps you know improve this team and we heard a lot of talk about them after the playoff season a couple of years ago, potentially being a sleeper for the Super Bowl. I think you're going to start hearing that talk again now with Deshaun Watson for the Cleveland Browns. Brady Quinn, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. So the Browns, 32 different quarterbacks, 32 starting quarterbacks, I should clarify, since 1999. Brady Quinn's name is among it those is. on it the is. list it's there. and on the jersey. Do you see it? I don't know. Really, I can't tell. I can't read from here. And I even have my glasses on. Apparently, it's on the there it is. It's on the left. Third from bottom, the bottom. Yeah, third from the bottom. Um, the thing, of course, that stands out the most to Brady Quinn there is the, is the contract in this. Five years, $230 million, fully guaranteed, saying that is a step in the right direction when it comes to players. Coming up next, we had an eruption. They're recording a podcast. The Pick 6 crew, they are going to weigh in on Deshaun Watson. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.